All right, welcome back to Bluegrass. We are taking a little bit of time to check in with Jinx, our uh, you know kind of aggressive Dutch uh, Shepherd Malinois cross. So we have Jinx uh, on a leash, and we have Blue, a wire-haired pointing Griffon, and we have Josie May, a German short-haired pointer, and we have Goose, a, a chocolate Labrador retriever. And so for this exercise, what we're doing is uh, we're just socializing uh, Jinx to the idea that there's going to be situations where dogs and people approach him from angles that he's not necessarily comfortable with and there's no reason to have a go to pieces. When, uh, uh, when Jinx first got here, he didn't like, well, I mean, <laughs> he really doesn't like new people, right? He's got a very distinct in-group, out-group preference, right? Uh, doesn't really like new dogs. Uh, you know, and it's not, not just it's not super psyched about just uh, anything that uh, breaks his uh, kind of his preconceived notions about how his day should go, right? Okay, well, one of the things that this dog is going to have to accept if he's going to be able to navigate real life is that there's going to be a lot of different stuff that happens, okay? And he's, you know, like it or don't like it, however he wants to view it, he's going to have to learn to be calm, attentive, and polite. Okay, and one of the best ways to do that is to, you know, recruit you some friends that have dogs and, uh, you know, from the time your puppy's young, you know, put them in situations where they're just forced to meet and interact with new dogs and new people in semi-controlled uh, environments. So like for this, for this particular exercise, I'm going to switch leashes, Charlotte's going to walk Jinx, and I'm going to walk Blue, and then these other dogs are just going to be back here, and since... Uh, Kennedy and Andy are not super familiar with the course. They're going to sometimes be bumping into Jinx. They're going to sometimes not be where they're supposed to be. And Jinx just has to learn to kind of live with that. Come on, Blue. Very nice. And so what will happen in life is you'll just be out. And like the, what, it's kind of a common theme with dog training is, you know, people will, they'll, they'll have trouble with their dog. And they'll kind of externalize that blame onto somebody they come in contact with. So you'll see somebody that has a Dutch Shepherd or a Malinois or a Pit Bull or, you know, a German Shepherd. And they'll say, well, he wouldn't have attacked that dog if that other dog would have been on a leash. Or if that other person wouldn't have reached over their head or whatever. But you see this, this traffic jam here? Life is just one series of traffic jams after another. If you're going to take your dog out in public, then, like, you have to... You just have to accept the fact that, like, life is not going to work out perfectly uh, in the way that you have it in your head. Like, just because you have in your mind the way that the whole world should interact with your dog, that doesn't mean it's going to happen that way. There's going to be plenty of times where there are other well-meaning people in the world with uh, well-meaning dogs, and there's just going to be things like this that happen. Dog's going to be a little too close to another dog. You know, some child is going to reach down and touch your dog or, 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 or like um, some, there's going to be a fella, you know, and like dogs a lot of times are a little bit more like skeptical of men wearing hats. There's going to be a, you know, a man with a hat walking up behind you. You know, it's just going to be a lot of this kind of stuff that your dog has to get used to. Uh, otherwise, you're a liability and you can't go out into the world and externalize risk onto people who haven't accepted that risk. It's very simple, you know. You shouldn't be making excuses for dogs. Like you should prepare your dogs so that they behave in such a way that you never find yourself needing to make excuses. Okay, and so that's what we're doing with Jinx.